Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Django React quiz tutorial series. In the previous one, what we did, we set up the back end and now we are going to set up the front end. And as you are going to see, it's going to be very easy, barely any inconvenience. So first thing that we have to do is to open a terminal. I'm going to open my hyper terminal and here you are going to type the command npm you have to make sure that you have npm install also create vid latest and we went this to this directory so it is why we put the dot and a flag we went a template to be react we click run you need to install the following package. Let's go. Okay. We are going to select. This was supposed to do the setup automatically, but we can do like this JavaScript. And that's done. So now the only thing that you have to do is to do npm install and npm run dev, which we can do. I, want, I prefer actually to do this code dot open visual studio code and work from the terminal yes let's do what i prefer to do cd we go to back on directory now i open the visual studio code and as you remember this is the last setup that we did from the back end but now we are in the front end. So we come here, CD front end, and these are these are the folders that we create. This is the public that is created with vid, and this is our React main app application. So when we are in the front end, let's do npm install. This is going to install our first package we have to wait a bit and when this is installed we can already do some rename for example let's come here to public index.html and we can call this quiz master and the node package are still being installed and there we are now we do npm rendev this is the command to start our server in vit and our server will start you just come here and everything is working fine so our react app it's so our react app it's working and now as you can see the port is 5173 and this is why in the settings we configure the the course origin to the port 5173 so this is for when you are communicating using the api for the front end to be able to communicate with the back end and that's it that's how we set up very quickly a react application and you can see when you are using vid this is very quickly now some things that we can do more it's to configure some of the directories so we can do that now so in our source directory we are going to have our assets which is good we are also going to have here a new directory called components but not here in the source let's call that components 
and we are also going to have page and definitely service but let's do that after so the page it's not here it's in the source okay so now let's see what we have okay we have the page components and those ones those ones we can and now to finish let's just add that configure tailwind so for the front end we are going to use uh, tailwind for our design to install tailwind you first first you disconnect your server and now first you type this command bam install the tailwind css and it's installing after it was installed now you type this command npx tailwind in css init dash p this is to initiate our config file which is going to be this one and now we are going to edit this and you are going to add this in your content the index.html and the source yes you add exactly like this and to finish you go to your index.css you remove all of these and you add directives here and that's done so if you want to know where you can copy this it's easy you just go to tailwind css docs installation and you have like a quick way to install this here but you have a lot I like i show you right now which is which is going to be very similar from one installation method to another and now let's see if this is working so we have to run the server again and bam run dev we should uh, have our counter but we don't any configuration so if you come here app.css you just have two styles what's going to look now yeah no configuration at all let's delete this app.css um, let's just delete this now we don't need this we don't need this let's going to delete the main functionality here and i think i delete too much let's just keep the fragment and let's going to do an h1 react quiz master we save we go to here and this is working and as you can see tailwind it's working because it's removing our pre-styling of the h1 so for example now we come here and now we say text excel 5xl text red text center and margin top of 8 if we can key them voila this is our quick setup of our React project and with our tailwind and as you can see tailwind has been configured and it's working fine and 
that's it for today so a quick summary we just set up our react application and we also set up with with a lint we demonstrate that uh, it's working functional and now in the next step it's going to work or on the front end or on the back end but i think for the next video it's going to be better to work in the back end and in the main logic of the application start to doing that okay guys if you like this video put a like share and subscribe and see you in the next one